What's up guys, uh, Kevin here. I'm here to do a quick review slash uh, comparison slash kind of like a flex post. Uh, I was able to, I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel, but I have posted about it on my Instagram. I think the Linen Air Force Ones are probably my favorite Air Force One flat out, full stop. Uh, just like the end all be all favorite Air Force One, um, which is kind of hard to say, you know, there's so many good Air Force Ones out there. Actually, it's pretty close with the Uenos, but like the linens are a lot more accessible. The Uenos are impossible. I don't think I'll ever be able to get them. I'm still angry at that sneakers um, competition that the Uenos lost so early and the winner of the shoot was like a reverse golden rod. Are you fucking kidding me? You can just make that shit on Nike ID and I'm just like, it boggles my mind. But you know, I guess that's besides the point. I, last year I was able to secure an OG pair of linens, OG box, OG papers and all that shit um, in an eight and a half. I, I was able to get it for quite a steal, 300, still wearable, and I was shook because I was trying to locate these guys, the kit reissue for the longest time, and prices of those are a thousand plus, even for with no box. And I was like, are you, you dead ass right now? Um, so I was able to get the originals and I'm happy. I'm totally happy with the originals. And then I saw these pop up in a US 9. I'm a US 8 to an 8.5. If you know anything about older Air Force Ones, they kind of fit a little bit big. So uh, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna bite the bullet. And then what I usually do when I buy shoes slightly big is I just put another insole in it and then these fit perfect. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a comparison slash review of both linens. Uh, I don't know if uh, people on my channel really give a shit about it, but I think it's such a cool piece of um, history that, you know, I just wanted to share it. Uh, full disclaimer, uh, the laces that are on the OG linens, uh, these ones are Foxtrot uniform. So I do have the OG laces here, but these are Foxtrot uniform. I will be keeping the Foxtrot uniform ones in here for the, for the moment, I guess. Oh, I guess here's the box, man. This guy has just been through it. Here is the size tag. Yeah, this box is like holding on for dear life. I've taped a certain corner just so that it could stay alive. But yeah, the OG paper, oh my God. Yeah, I was, I don't know how the hell I was able to find this for 300 in wearable condition. And the insole print is pretty much still there. No ripping on the lining and stars are still decent. Oh, yeah, so there is a slight, slight issue, which I will point out, but this is the OG, and this is the kit reissue. Um, there are slight color variations, but both amazing shoes. So I'll start off with the OGs. Here are the Linen Air Force Ones OG. I believe this was a Coach AP. Uh, this released back in 2001. 2001, I was born in 96. I was a child when these released. 2001, and just look at how they've held up. They've held up great. Uh, so here is all upper leather is this like slightly, I don't know, I feel like with age it turned a little bit like more muted, I would say, but it's a beautiful tan with this thick like ice cream, like Neapolitan strawberry looking uh, swoosh, super, super thick, very, very thick. And man, the thing with old Air Forces is I love this and then I love the padding that they had. Man, I still need a pair of those uh, like Coco Snakes. 
man, those are really good. When they started, when they did a small bit of Air Forces back in their OG style, like the, like the Rockefellers, like, man, that was crazy. But um, Air Force One, tongue is a bit worn out, but it had a leather tongue right there, somewhere there. And the insole is pretty much the same. No technology has really changed. Now, the small flaw is that there is some separation but very, these are all honestly completely wearable. I've, I've worn these plenty of times and they're great. So I got this in an eight and a half. I would have preferred it in an eight or even a seven and a half if possible, but these are amazing. Slight yellowing on the sole. Stars are still pretty dang good. I'm honestly pretty dang surprised. And another thing versus modern Air Force Ones is that this one's a lot tighter and a lot smaller. Uh, I really wish they would make the Air Force Ones as comfortable and as nice as they did this. Now, here is the Kith reissue. I believe this came out, I believe it was 2016, right? Yeah, 2016 for their Miami store opening. Uh, it was originally rumored that they would only have like under 100 pairs, but that was only for the friends and family box. I think they definitely released more than that, but apparently not that like enough because the prices on these are crazy i was able to pick this one up no box for 250 i thought that was a great deal because i literally haven't seen another one really on sale i've seen one other one it's a size 8 on grailed for a thousand fuck that no thank you uh so they tried to do their best to essentially keep it as close to the og the only thing is, is that they definitely added a lot more tumbling to the leather and the leather does feel a bit more plush a lot more plush actually um and the swoosh isn't as like hard and thick because this one's a lot more like malleable the ogs are quite thick uh they did kind of go true with the padding let me pull it out for comparison's sake so the padding on the ogs are a little bit more narrow but it could be through age and here is the leather tongue as well uh, the shape of it is just slightly wider in the Kith ones, but it could also be that this is a half size larger than this. Um, but I think they did a pretty decent job. I've even, I may even say that they elevated the materials on the Kith reissue. Um, but I would say shape wise, the OG still takes it just and how well this guy's held up. But here is the Kith reissue. I really have no complaints about either pair. They're both very wearable. Um, there are just so many sneaker stories connected to um, the linens. Cause I remember, I believe it was DJ Clark Kent where he would just bring like, I think he bought like 30 pairs of linens and then folded them down and then somehow had to get his way from Japan back to New York and it was just such a cool sneaker moment and I just love how simple and clean this shoe is. It doesn't need a story. It just needs to be clean, good quality and like, I don't know, like nostalgia. Even though I wasn't really even there for that era, but it's that cool history that I feel like I'm being a part of, but very, very cool. I'm so glad to have both pairs in my collection. Slight, this one, the tan is a bit warmer than this. You can definitely see it, uh, but the shape of this one, look at look at that nice toe. Sure, this one's a little bit chunkier, but not as bad as some other Air Force ones that I've seen. And then the bottom is definitely more of a salmon, while this one is like more of a pink pink. Uh, and yeah, like I said, that's, oh, that swoosh, I mean, uh, quite thick, not very malleable. This one, quite plush, but yeah, the leather, uh, a little bit thinner on the kith, I would say the the eye stays. I think some parts are definitely thinner, but love this pair. I'm glad I have it in hand now. Uh, after so many years of searching, glad I got this guy. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. This is a bit of a weird review just because it isn't new product, at least to you guys, it's old product but it's new to me and I'm very, very happy that I have both, uh, both re the reissue as well as the OG uh, in my, I guess, rotation. So yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what is your guys' favorite Air Force One. Uh, of recent times, I really like the Sashiko uh, stitching uh, one that was a woman's exclusive. I forgot if it only released in certain countries, but the Sashiko stitch one is really nice. Um, I mean, like obviously a lot of the Virgil Abloh Museum Air Force Ones are really cool. Same with the original 10 uh, Air Force One. That one was really nice. Um, I also don't have issues with the Travis Scott one either. I thought it looked really, really nice and very cool take. So let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.